Hi guys and welcome back to Lark's Workshop. I'm Lark's, this is my workshop. Today we're going to be looking at changing the radius arm bushes. Um, common issue, there are some differences between old and, and well, older and older buses. Mine's 1983 so it's got the early radius arm bush set up. If you've got a later one, well there are other videos on how to do it. I haven't got one to show you but they're all similar principle in the front. So um, let's show you what we've got to, to put on. Here are the replacement bushes. So we've got the big washers either end. These are the polyurethane bits that do all the polyurethane-y bits and stuff. We've got the inner bush Stuck in there. I say bush. That's the sleeve. That's the bit that sits on the rod. There's a little aluminium top hat thing, which I've already squished in. I don't want to take it out again. All I did was just basically stood on it and it went on. So that's all the bits. I'll show you the old bits on the bus. Right. So these are the bushes in here. They were going to change. So we've got to take this arm out which includes undoing those bolts under there. I have been soaking these for a long time in ease oil um, and I, I did cheat and I freed off the front one and it moved so hopefully it should be quite easy it's under there. You can see that I've had a spanner on it but yeah I've been soaking them a long time and you can see how perish the rubber is so hopefully we'll fix that. One, uh, what I want to do is I just want to measure the length here so I can get it roughly back in the same place. I have actually measured on both sides from the centre of the axles so front to back and I'll, um, I've got it up on the board and I'll show you in a minute. So here's the measurements I've took they'll be bound to be different on yours so don't worry what exactly what they are but the original wheelbase according to the book 2461 millimetres it's a bit accurate but hey okay. So when I measured front to back, the, basically the wheelbase, right hand side, 2465, that's pretty good if you ask me, 2460 on the left hand side still, you know, that's pretty darn good since it's knackered out old van. Um, the rod length, which I measured from the back of the big nut to the far bolt on the back end of the, uh, the, the rod, radius rod. So on mine I got 440, 435, so you know, they're... When you look at them, that makes sense. So what I'll do is, I'm, when I put it back together, I'll set them up roughly to these, and when the tracking's done and I know the wheels are dead straight, um, I'll check them again and I can pull it in and out of the radius rod if I need to, just to get it spot on. Nice. Hi again, we're underneath. Oh, sorry, just hit the camera. So what we're undoing to get this rod out, that one up there, you can probably see I've soaked that well. 27 mil, we've got 17 mil bottom of the drop link, and there's three more 17 mil. This is socket size, obviously, uh, underneath there to allow the radius arm to come off the radius rod. So I know this is loose because I've slapped it off already. So I've done a bit of cheating, but it wasn't actually that tight. So, um, but I have been soaking this, well, probably since, since the MOT, which is bus fest, so months it's been soaking. So, you know, if you've got the patience, it will work. Right, that's that one loose. See that? Right, let's move on to these. That one will come off easy because we've just done it up. Pops. They now pops. Right, now let me try these. So we'll see what happened with these. Can you see them? I'm just here. Let's 
that's a no. Let's get a spanner. See if I can turn these bolts. Cool. Yeah, tight. some more easing oil. Oh, back on these now. I've got these to go. They're nice and loose. All I did is spun them up and they're fine. But this one is tight as hell. Um, I've undone the nut underneath. I just can't get it to go. And I've put big extension on it with a socket and all sorts. So I'm just going to try See if I can wedge it in there. See if I can just get it to go because it's not it's not threaded into here. Am I pointing at stuff you can't see? It doesn't seem to be threaded into this part because these are going up and down. That one I can't get to move. So let's twat it once and see what happens. Ah, there she goes. That went. So it's just. A bit of stiction then I think. Let's go a bit more. And this is that's only those three bolts. It's flipping tight. Right, that's hit the bolt there. Let's see if we can move it anymore. I don't want to shear it off. Try a bit more wedging, see if we can get it just to go. Sorry about that, let down by the camera again. It just shut off. But there we go, I've been beating on this bolt and I've managed to get it to move. So that's quite free now. I can't get that to go, so I'm going to try and rattle it down. Sorry about the noise. Still got a bit loose. Oh, let me let me get things stuck there. Ah, there we go. Lots of bits falling out there. Don't know what happened there? Oh, that was. Oh, my. oh drop link pushes. Right, we're actually off. I'm just going to undo this. I can't see what I'm doing. But Here we go. It's out. Okay, well I've got the other one off now. And I have to say, that was a lot easier than the driver's side one, the right hand side one. So I'll show you what 
to find. Start with this one, which was the easy one to come off. Not too bad, really. Uh, the rod itself looks okay. We have got, oh, this lack of anything in there, as you expect, but we've got some wear on the uh, the tube or the sleeve, is it? Oh, I can't remember. I called it something earlier, but yes, on that sleeve there's some wear and some rust. Um, but all the other components, pretty good. That one actually looks relatively new. Uh, on the, the first one we took off, which was a pain in the bum, well, I mean, we're talking not doing a lot really. And well, the sleeve is actually rusted in there. So that has worn through or rusted through. It's a bit bad on there. It has worn a little bit into the, uh, the chassis part, but it's not too bad. It has worn a little bit into the thread on there as well. But we're going to give these a clean up. Um, I might even paint them green again. And put them back together. Right, let's get these cleaned up, ready to go back on. Hey, the fairies have been again. Not looking bad. Again, nice bit of green paint, so this will do. Um, the assembly of this, or these, or whatever you want to call it, I'll go for it um, on this one. First one, we have a cut washer. Cut the opposite way than you would think, but it just does because. And then the sleeve goes in that one, like that. So we've got a little groove, goes towards the front. Then you'd obviously have your chassis there. And then that donut with the aluminium spacer, I suppose, that bit, that step goes into the chassis. So that goes on like that. Ugh, it'll go on with some lube. But well, you get the idea. And that one, and then in that. Right, should we go and throw it on the van? Right, so we're back under. We're going to put the radius rods back on. So I'm going to start off putting these on that way. I think I'm going to slide the sleeve in from the top because it's quite tight getting it over otherwise. So I've got to get that one in there. I need to get these in as well and then those bolts in the bottom somehow. I've got to jiggle it. Oh, that's okay. Where's my nuts? Where are my missus? I'll right, just chuck the nuts on the bottom there. I'm probably in your way, but sorry. Whiz them up, I won't get them tight though. Just a nip, so I've got a bit of slack there. And then we've got to put the other end on that. And we're going to be, let's move you to the other side. Put a bit on there. Go into the other side. Oh, lovely, jubbly. And I've lost me big washer. So I put, I've got some grease on there, some sort of copper slip type grease. Oh, we're actually the right way round. I'm having camera fun again. So, the measurement I took was 440 from the back of that nut to the far nut when it's done up. So, 
I'll um, do a measurement and set it up. I won't do that on camera because I'm struggling holding this thing at the moment. It's wobbling all over the place. I don't want to give you seasickness. So I'm going to nip that up. Um, one thing I could do is reassemble this bit. It's all ready to go. It's all greased up. But it's a bit on the long side by the looks of things. It might go. Or it might not. Right. I know that's cross threaded, but that's all I can do with my left hand. So I'm going to nip those up, nip that up, and then adjust that to 440mm, and then I'll be back with you. So I've nipped these three up, I'm still adjusting this back nut to get us that 440mm. So back of the nut to that one, I've still got a few to go, but uh, this is only rough at the moment because I've got to get the tracking done and then I'll um, set, set it up as per the wheelbase. more. Not much. I'll probably have to adjust this a little bit when I nip it up anyway because it will squish up the bushes. Right, that is 440. So let's see how this nips up. So what might be, this is tight when you, you've grabbed the, uh, the sleeve inside. Right, I'm just going to check the measurement again. That's moving. That's moved a bit, so I'll do the inside. Let's try that again. Four forty. Right. Sure how far these have got to squish up. Oh, that's just gone tight. Right, that's nipped. Well, that is near enough, I think, for now. I'm just going to give that a quick nip up. About three grunts, and then I can do that one up. Oh, no, I'm going to leave that one loose because I've got to do the other side yet. But I'll buzz that one up later. But we are nearly there. I've scratched all my lovely paint now. Oh, dearie me. Right. Let's do the other side. I'll do that off camera because you don't want to see it twice. Well, guys, that's it. That's how I change my radius arm bushes. Um, I hope it's of some help to you. If it is, please give us a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to see future stuff. And again, if someone um, you know is doing it, share it. It might be of some use to them. So, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, we have now got an Instagram account. So why don't you follow us on there? Okay, see you next time. Cheers and...